Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a custom authentication in Laravel by using a username or a phone number field instead of the default email based authentication. So if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so what I have here is a fresh Laravel project and I have done the basic authentication system. Now if you haven't done that yet, you can just go to this URL, I'll, I'll put the link in the description section. Just go to this URL and a little bit uh, at the bottom you can find these two commands and just copy and paste that and you'll, you'll be up and running with the basic uh, authentication scaffolding. So that's it now. Uh, the default authentication, my server is up and running there. Now the default authentication comes with uh, the uh, email based authentication. So as you can see there is an email address field or in the login itself it is email address so what we will be doing is instead of this email address we'll put either of a username or a phone number field okay so that that's what we are going to be doing so uh, the the guide we are going to be following is i have prepared a uh, uh, a type of readme here a step by step guide will have a uh, seven steps out there so we'll follow this one and uh, again the link i'll provide in the description section so that you can follow it up so Starting with the first one, uh, we'll put add, uh, we'll add username or phone number column to user's migration file. So, uh, in the migration file, in the database migrations, I'll go to create users table. Now, in here, we have this uh, default email there. So, I'll add a new uh, field there. So, I'll put this as a string. Now, uh, the name, uh, I'll stick with username and it is also unique now if you're using a kind of phone number based authentication just uh, rename this to be uh, something like phone number and that's it now uh, we'll stick with the basic username now uh, th uh, with that being said uh, the next step is migrate all files so i'll just run my migrate command there so php artisan uh, migrate um, i'll kind of do a fresh migrate there uh, so that it will drop all the tables and uh, rerun all the migration files so uh, yeah that's it that's up and running now the next step is uh, to edit the registration view to add username or phone number input field so if you go to the uh, resources and uh, views uh, in here in the auth folder you can find the register.blade.php uh, here you have the uh, email field there so we'll just copy paste uh, this one and we'll just paste that up at the bottom now we'll change this email to be a username field uh, a, a kind of copy we, we also want the email field plus we need the username field as well in the registration so uh, if you're using again a phone number field just make this username to be phone number and uh, just make this type to be a number type so uh, we'll just change uh, this all those email fields there so to be uh, username so the id username and the type i'll put uh, with text now if you're using phone number just stick with number now this one is again username and the name again is username all of username and this one again username so uh yeah i believe that's it and um, everything is perfect now uh the next thing uh, is in the uh fourth one edit register controller so the default register controller assumes that we are using an, an email based authentication so uh, in in its validate and create method it doesn't have the username or phone number field yet so we'll add that in a moment so in the register controller so in the app folder uh, http and in the controller section you have that auth and in here the register controller uh, you can find that there is something called validator now uh, the default one has the email validations there so we'll also put the username validation now if you're using again phone number you can put you can just change that username name a username uh, to a phone number so again this is a required field and uh, uh, we'll put a maximum length of uh, let me say 25 now uh, uh, This depends upon your requirement. You can of course uh, use whatever validations you can use now I'll put a unique 
to the user's table so that it, it becomes unique now I believe that's it now yeah, if you're using a phone number then you can just change this one and you can of course use something like a numeric or integer so that uh, the uh, uh, the input a, uh, is validated as an integer or something similar so or, or a numeric value so uh, now with that being said um, uh, the next thing again is uh, this one uh, as, as you can see here uh, we have uh, kicked off the validate method now the next one is the create method so uh, in here uh, there is email we also want the username and as, as always if you're using phone number just uh, replace that username with the phone number so data of username so that's it now the next one is the fifth one add username or phone number yeah since we are using the mass assignment uh, in the user model so uh, if we go to the app folder, you can see user.php in that user model. In the fillable property, you just add a kind of username there. Now again, if you're using phone number, just add that in here, just phone number itself. So um, the next thing is uh, uh, override username method in logic login controller. So uh, this is uh, the important um, method. So if we go to HTTP controllers, and in the auth folder login controller we have a method called uh, username now this is a kind of uh, laravel using the uh, laravel uh, knows which uh, which field to be used for authenticating the user so there is a username uh, method here so the default value is a kind of email here the default value now we'll just override that to use the username so that Laravel uses username at the end for logging a user in so if you're using a phone number then just change this to phone number and that's it and we'll stick with the username field there so that's it now the last step is edit the login view so uh, in the uh, resources again uh, in the views or then the login.blade.php at present we have the email field so we'll get we'll just uh, change this email so I'll um, uh, select all those uh, emails there and I'll just change that to username right there so if you're using again phone number just change that to phone number so we'll put this type to be uh, text so uh, in the case of number uh, in the case of phone number it will be number so I believe everything is perfect now uh, yeah yeah we will uh, we'll change this one to be uh, user name so that's it I believe we have completed the eight steps seven steps so uh, our, our server is running so if I go to uh, the uh, kind of uh, registration page there and you can see that uh, they're in the username field is there now we'll try to register a new user so I'll say code band and uh, code band at code band dot com now we'll stick with code band as the username so code band the password being code band again so if I click register then you can see that we have registered and we have logged in so that's totally working now if I log in via that uh, login route there so if I go to slash login and if I try to register sorry if I try to log in with my uh, credentials my username and password then you can see that we are uh, I'm sorry I have uh, I believe I have misspelled my password there so you can see that we are logged in so that's totally working fine now if you're using phone number that will also will totally work fine so the next the last step uh, uh, you can see that this is a kind of name that is in here code band so we'll, we'll just uh, make this as the username field so in the um, uh, resources views in the layouts you can see that app.blade.php here and you can see that um, the auth username so we'll just change uh, this one to be a username so if I just refresh that page and then you can see that it is code band that is the username itself so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any doubts or any suggestions please let me know in the comment section and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the very next one.